thousands who have suffered, who has left their homes, their lands, and they have been evacuated with the help of the Assam rifles, and now they are in the relief camps in various places. And these are people who are really suffering. And today, on behalf of the Kuki people, I would like to address and request to the central government that why is the cry of the people of the Kukis not being heard and not being addressed until today? In fact, we the Kukis were the ones who fought against the British for India freedom. And it is a well-known fact that in the First and Second World War, we the Kukis had really taken part. Nevertheless, knowing all this, when the Kuki people in Manipur are being attacked, are being killed, and are being um, uh, mistreated in such a way, why is the government still not paying attention to the cry of the people, such people who had really fought for the freedom of India against the British? Moreover, there has been so many proofs after proofs, evidences after evidences that the state government, the state police commandos, along with them, with their helps, with their weapons, including the mob of the Maytays, are fighting against the people. And this is a fact. This is seen in so many uh, uh, videos which themselves are being captured by the same community themselves. Today, I on behalf of the suffering people of Cookies, as a spokesperson of the committee, would like to fervently request our central government to please intervene, to please see what is really going on in the state of Manipur so that we are being protected, we are being given shelter, so that we are put into peace to add more. We the cookies have been living in Manipur for the past many, many, many decades. And in all these years of living together with our Métis communities, there has never been a fight. There has never been a quarrel. There has never been any misunderstanding between the two communities. We have been living so peacefully, lovingly, as friends, as societies together, working together in so many areas and fields. But now, at this situation, why these things are happening? Is this, is this a pre-planned? Is this a thing that is uh, wanted or propagated by the state government? What is this going on? Please, look at the suffering of the people. When we had been living together in peace and love, suddenly, suddenly, when a peaceful rally was conducted just against the ST demand of our fellow community mates, why this war erupted suddenly? Why this war erupted, er, er, erupted suddenly? Did the people of the cookies fight against the mates? Did we have? Did, did we ever? Did we ever attack? It never happened. It is just that there was a peace rally, and on that very fact, the attack came. And the same very night, villages, towns, buildings were burned in a twinkling of an eye. And the same continued the next day. And today we have so many people around us here suffering, leaving their homes, leaving their properties, and the properties that they left home. The same were again stolen. The same were again robbed by the same community, by the perpetrators. Therefore, today, I on behalf 
of the whole people of community. As a spokesperson, would like to address, would like to request the state government, the central government, to please step in to our problem and address our problem, at least reach to a level, to a certain level, and then talk about peace. We are a peace-loving community. We love peace. And in, in fact, our religion never discourages us to have peace. We are the peace-loving community. And we want peace. We all want peace. But before peace is addressed, before peace comes, central government, central government, whoever is responsible, do please listen to our cry. Do please listen to our cry. Do please address our problem into a certain level. Then we will happily accept peace. Thank you.